welcome to this video about hype, and if you hear my computer dying, like it is now, ignore it please, because, you know, anyway, um, we're going to be talking about hype today. Now, hype is a sort of, uh, it's a strange subject, it's not one that's talked about that much, but it's something interesting. Um, now, hype in itself basically means, uh, extravagant or intrusive publicity or promotion or pr to promote or publicize a uh, product idea intensively often exaggerates its performance or benefits. Yeah, I'm just reading the definitions here, guys. But basically, in simple terms, uh, yeah, in, in very simple terms, <laughs> uh, it's just basically if a game or a movie or whatever has a trailer or something, you get excited for it. You know, you get expectations from it. Hype. That's, that's hype. So, I'm going to be assessing hype, overhype, underhype, and obviously no hype at all, a little bit, but more hype, overhype, and underhype is something that uh, not really common in this case. So, hype. Hype is the most difficult one. I can't really think of many examples for hype. I could think of something like, uh, I don't know, let's say Portal 2, maybe some, I don't think 2. Basically, if a game usually, uh, sequels, a lot of sequels have hype, because they have that. And if they have hype, now... If they live up to the hype, this means pretty much what they expected. Some, a lot of the time though, people use live up to the hype if they live up to the hype and it's more than what they expected. Now, I wouldn't consider this hype as such, I consider it as unhype, which I'll discuss later. But people do consider that, so bear that in mind. Uh, now we have uh, overhype. Now, overhype is very common. Um, I can think of quite a few examples of overhype, but, you know. Uh, we have uh, Haze, for instance. That was overhyped. So, Haze was well, it was it was decent in my opinion, but some people hate it. Now, the, uh, a lot of people hated it though because it wasn't what they expected. Because it was hyped, and then when it got to launch, when it got to launch day, they were disappointed. I.e., it was overhyped. Pretty much, it was pretty much overhyped. Pretty much more. Or less rather than what they expected the final product was than the expectations from trailers and stuff. So yeah. And I'd say, say similar things with uh not Avatar Separated, but uh no, uh The End the Last Chariot Book, that's it. That was overhyped. In my opinion, yeah, it was overhyped. It was a good great ending. But it wasn't quite what I expected. It was, it was less than what I expected. So it was overhyped. So, but it was still good. It's just, it's just the 11th book. It doesn't mean it was a bad book. It's not a bad ending at all. And same with The Walking Dead. I know people are going to hate me for this, but I like The Walking Dead ending for five. I thought, personally, though, it was overhyped episode five. Episode five was really overhyped. I mean, the past four episodes would give the episode five hype, right? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta think you're expecting an amazing ending from it. But people have different expectations, and in my opinion, it's an over it's an overhype. It's not bad. It's not a bad ending at all. It's a good ending. It's just Okay, some people say it's a bull ending or whatever. But I say I thought it was a good ending in terms of acting and stuff. In terms of plot, I wouldn't say so. Like in terms of what happened and then it just build up to that. Uh, which I'm not gonna spoil to you guys. But yeah. But that's that's what I mean by overhype. But overhype what I'm trying to say is Overhype doesn't mean bad. This is what a lot of people think. Overhype, it's they get mad because the game is hyped. But like, if a game is hyped and doesn't live up to the hype, I it's overhyped. Yeah. So that, that's that's what I mean by overhype, basically. Uh, and now we have um, underhype. This is a bit less common, but it does happen. So we have uh, games and movies like like we have District Nine. His is in his, District Nine is basically it was overshadowed by uh, um, Avatar. And trust me, not many people were hyped about it because Avatar was overshadowing it. In fact, not many people knew about District Nine. I didn't know about District Nine until about a year or so later <laughs> after the, after launch. So so about 2010 ish, I saw District Nine and was amazed. I lo I love District Nine. It's a, it's an amazing film. People are gonna like hate it, but uh, you know, I thought it was, a, it was a great film because District Nine had like everything: had good acting, good plot, good effects. Um, it had it, for what it is, the effects were good. It wasn't over the top, 
there were and you know and story you know it it was all good it was it was great rather and I, and it's an actually an amazing film yeah but it wasn't it wasn't hyped and people didn't expect it it was more the, those that blew you away so that's unhype in terms of that so things that are unhyped basically if if you didn't really expect much but then the product in the end product kind of blows you away you know you know, it doesn't really get you excited beforehand, but now you are, you were, it made you excited. That, in my opinion, is unhype. So yeah, I've discovered those three types of hype. There's also no hype at all. If a game or movie or product does a hype, uh, yeah, sorry, I could be slagging it. But anyway, if it has no hype, no, nothing, no trailers or no, no, nothing. And then the final product is pretty much the same. It's just like, meh, that there's nothing special about it. That would be unhype. Sorry, not hype. Oh, no hype. No, no hype. That would be no hype at all. So yeah. But yeah, we have um that. Let me know your thoughts, uh, guys, about the whole subject of uh, hype because this is this is interesting. What I'm trying to say from this is that hype isn't a bad thing. And if a game is overhyped, it doesn't mean it's bad. It just means it didn't live up to expectations. Sometimes it does mean it's bad because the game was good and it was hyped, and then it was terrible at the end. Absolutely terrible. Like, and then some people, uh, but then it wasn't, but then I think some games, some things, people really judge them harshly. They really expect so much from it, from something, and then they, they, then they see the final product, that's so they overhyped. But that doesn't mean it's a bad product, that just means you expected too much, or the trailer, whatever, gave you too many expectations. So what, I want your thoughts on, what are your thoughts on hype, basically? Comment below with your thoughts on the whole subject of hype. Do you think that... Overhype means bad, do you think not? Or do you think people are being silly when they say that? Like, you know, tell me tell me what you think. This, I'm interested to know. But yeah, for now, um this that's pretty much my my what well, well, my saying is done. So yeah. Remember to comment below and yeah. So goodbye.